All right, <laughs> enough of this giant loud music. Welcome back to Undertale, everybody, and we're back with Mortorio. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. Oh, so it wouldn't matter if I was wondering that the entire time that I was um thinking. I thought we was we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off a small a a snail pie for tonight. Okay, what the crap? Okay, mouse, stay away. I realized that you guys were probably annoyed by that in the last episode. Here, I have another surprise for you. Okay, hold on. My music is loud in my ears. There we go. It's like blaring. These books are war. They must have been read, read, read many times. Someone doesn't know how to grammar. Isn't it re, re, I don't know. Inside is an old calendar from the beginning of 2000X. I guess that's gonna be 2010 or something. This is it. A room of your of your own. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm very loopy today. I hope you like it. Aw, thank you. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. Hmm. You have seen this type of plant before, but do not know its name. Okay. I'm gonna try exploring a little bit. Oh. It's Toriel's journal. It's Toriel's diary. Read us the circle passage. I'll read the circle passage. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling boldly. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of similar caliber. I love puns. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants you, you open to the middle. Typhan, or Typhan? It's Typha. A group of welted flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods, known more commonly as water sausages. You peek inside. Scandalous. It's Toriel's sock drawer. But how is that scandalous? <laughs> ah, the cactus. Truly the most sedentary of plants. Oh, wait. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. So that was Bud Bud, by the way. So you're gonna be. Also, guys, I am gonna be uploading a um, so a little bit of Starbound now and then, just for the measure. Room under renovation. Okay. <gasps> it's me. It's you. Yeah, it's me. Oh, it's a water sausage. <laughs> I like that. It actually learns while you, uh, learn something new. Mm. Also, speaking of which, the Gaijin Gamers Play have also played this game, and I've watched the first beginning episode. Which, okay, I guess some people can poke at me for, but I watched the beginning episode. An empty fo photo frame. It re it's really dusty. I'm sorry, I'm... <coughs> there we go. A box of kids' shoes in a dis... Disparity of sizes. That scared the crap out of me. Mm. Oh, I just jump into bed. Oh, you found a slice of butterscotch so cinnamon pie. Aw, Toriel. What's down here? I actually wonder this. Oh, whoa, Toriel! I think you should play upstairs instead. Um, okay. I'm not exactly picky with that type of stuff, but okay. There's Toriel. Books! It's a history book. 
here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked, until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. As great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. I'm pretty lousy at names, too. I'm named Scout, I heard, for God's sake. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Sorry, I'm very sick. Still. Okay, hold on. Okay, guys, didn't know if you heard that or not, but I got a phone call about some very other particular crap. Okay. Pie. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. Okay, I never am intimidated by a pie, but okay. For some reason, there's a brand name chocolate bar in this fridge. Oh, is it a Snickers? I love Snickers. Toriel. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to no show you... I really am sorry, I'm kind of out of it. My favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. That's a little much, might I say. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to, te to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Uh, nothing. Well, talk to me again if you need anything. Hold on. I just want to investigate a little bit more. The ends of the tools have been filled down, filed down to make them safer. Okay. Okay, still look at the plant. What's the heck? This is a plant. What's this portrait? I guess there's no other reason to go around and just look at stuff. We gotta go and get home, I guess. To our old home. Oh, hello. Did you want to hear about my... About the book I'm reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. Ugh. To be honest, I hate snails. How about it? How to exit the ruins? Uh, how about the exciting snail fact? Or exciting snail fact. And exciting snail fact. I'm sorry, I'm really out of it today. Did you know that snails sometimes flip their digestive systems as they mature? Interesting. It is pretty interesting, but I need to know how to exit the ruins. I have to do something. Stay here. Uh, Toriel! You're kinda dodging my question. 
Which is something I didn't really want to question, but, uh... Okay, she's not here. <laughs> something tells me we're gonna have to go down. This is very eerie. I don't want to go. Uh, but independence. Toriel. Uh... I forgot what the... Okay, C. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. I mean, you got a nice setup here, but I'm not sure if I'm supposed to stay here. I mean, I'm a kid. I gotta get sunshine and stuff like that. Normally, tip parents would tell you to get outside and make friends and stuff, but this this is kind of the opposite. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. Okay, that's kind of grim. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. I mean... The whole premise of it is that the fact of the matter is that every child will have to leave home eventually to be able to go out into the world, and even with the risk of danger, you gotta leave. I've come to the realization of that very early in life. Don't you try to stop me. This is your final warning. Something tells me I'm gonna have to get something. I only have a stick and a butterscotch pie. Ah, uh, jeez. This is bad. Toriel. You want to leave so badly? Hmm. You are just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Okay. Oh no, come on. I do not want to... <sighs> this is really dramatic battle music as well. I'm just gonna try and strike up a conversation, I guess. Holy... Hold on. My ears are bleeding a little bit. There we go. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Not cool. Not cool. Ah, uh, talk? You trying to think of something to say, but... Oh, jeez. Okay, okay, okay. Bad, bad idea. Uh... Okay, there at least there's a reaction! A reaction! God's sake, this is not good. Okay, not good. <laughs> this is not good! Why did I decide to do this? Okay, I'm at 5 health. Hi. That's probably- Okay, that was probably a bad idea. Bad idea all around! Okay, everybody calm down. I play my fair share of bullet hell games. I'm pretty sure I can- no, I'm pretty sure I can't do this. I cannot do this. Ah! Toriel! I'm about to die. What are you doing? I'm trying not to hurt you. I don't want to. Ah! Attack or run away. But that's not... Ah, okay. What are you trying... What are you proving this way? Okay, okay, not good, not good, not good. <laughs> I'm just freaking out whenever she attacks. Fight me or leave. I don't want to fight you. As much as I would like to, I don't. Ah, no! Diggity dang it. Stop it. Oh, wait a minute. What? Okay. Stop looking at me that way. Wait a minute, she's doing that on purpose. Once again, I only watched the first episode and it didn't really reveal much. 
go away. I'm not... I'm not gonna hurt you, but I'm not gonna freaking... I'm not going away. I'm still scared of this. I'm still scared of this. <coughs> I'm still scared of this. God's sake. I know you want to go home, but... But please, go upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you here. Okay, this is very aloof. Or aloof. I know we don't do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. But I'm a boy and... Well, girl, entity, human. <laughs> I broke up a dramatic... <coughs> okay. But I'm a human. I gotta go outside. I gotta see the world. Either else I get stir-crazy in here. Why are you making this so difficult? Because letting go is difficult no matter what you do. Please, go upstairs. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I can't do the laugh good with that voice, guys. Sorry. Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. Well, you're not saving me. Well, technically, you're just imprisoning me. It's not good to imprison somebody when they want to leave. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped here, da trapped down here. I'm sorry, I did not read. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Oh, come on! That with feels! Goodbye, my child. Why the feels? That door has an unsuspecting smiley face. But here we go. One way exit. One way exit. One way ticket. And I'm going through. I'm um, following through. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I did that by accident. You again. I did not like you. I never liked you. And you, sir, are a jerk. Clever. Very clever. <laughs> You think you're really smart, don't ya? Yes, I do. In this world, it's kill or be killed. I'm going for a Joker voice because I decided voice acting would be good enough. So you were able to play your own rules. You spare the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. Yes, I do. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do with a, re a relentless killer? With a relentless killer. I'm sorry, I really should read. You'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die. Until you're tired of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it. I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't resigned. This is so much more interesting. <laughs> hmm. 
You are a bad, bad flower. I'm gonna look at sunflowers now and just want to crush them. Undertale. It took the second episode to see the stupid starter screen by Toby Fox. Toby Fox, thank you for making this game. <coughs> oh God. <coughs> oh. There's a camera hidden in the bushes. Okay. It's a tough looking branch. It's too heavy to pick up. I already have a stick. I don't need a branch. Don't you play like that. Don't you play like that. I saw that! There's something in the shadows! I am getting an eerie feeling right now. That's a bridge. Wait a minute. Human, don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. What the heck? <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hat trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop any bo anybody. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. That is the most conveniently shaped lamp ever. Sup, bro? Hold on, I gotta think of something. Oh, actually... Oh, jeez. You know what's sup, bro. It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your pro- <laughs> I'm about to say- <laughs> Why was I about to say pretzels? Maybe I'm hungry. Puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No! I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? Yet he does not know behind the really shaped lamp that there's a human. I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect. Recognition. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend. <laughs> okay, I said to be, not to be. Frick's sake. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you are not helping, you lazy bones. He actually is. Little does he know. All you do is sit and boondock. <laughs> I love that word. Boondoggle. Use that in a, use that somewhat somehow today. Use it. You get lazier and lazier every day. 
Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done. A skeleton. <laughs> the drum roll was perfect. <coughs> oh my god. Sads. Come on, you're smiling. I am, but I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Why does someone as great as me have to do so much to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. <laughs> oh man, I love puns. They're too, they're too good. Ah! I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. Yeah. Um. Great pun. <laughs> Just a slow clap. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having too much fun. Oh my god. Okay, you can come out now. <coughs> Just a conveniently shaped lamp. And two snowballs next to each other. You ought to get going. He might come back. And if he does... You'll have to sit through one of more of my hilarious jokes. I would like that. In some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there's a bottle of bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Have you been eating hot dogs, dude? Relish is even that good. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been down kind of down lately. He's never ever seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous, even if he tries to be. Thanks a million, I'll be up ahead. Okay? This music though. Just take a minute and just appreciate that. I really love this music. I should get the soundtrack! The convenience of the la that lamp still fills you with DETERMINATION! Because determination is everything! Hmm. A box. This is a box. Yes! You can put an item in it. In it. You can put an item in it, or you can take it out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. I want to go up here. Oh, jeez. Snow Drake flutters forth. Uh... Joke? You make a bad ice pun. Haha, <laughs> nice try. Okay. Oh, what the heck? Oh, jeez. Okay, that, that, this is hectic. Snow Drake is practicing its next part. Heckle? You tell the Snow Drake that no one will ever love them the way they are. The struggle to make a re retort and slink away utterly crushed. Aw oh, man, I insulted him! I didn't want to insult him! Oh, what the heck? It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in? Sure. All that's attached to the end of this foot. Ed is a photo of a monster of a weird looking monster. Call me, here's my number. You decide not to call. Okay, put that back in. You set the light back out. Okay, there we go. <coughs> Use the box? Uh, I don't really have ooh, tough glove. I'll put the stick back in there. Okay, put on the tough glove. Equip tough glove. Wait, wait, can I info? Toy knife. Attack 3, made of plastic. A rarity nowadays. A rarity? Hold on. So what does the, um, uh... Tough Glove have? Tough Glove. Weapon Attack 5. A worn pink leather glove. For 5-fingered folk. So, technically Frisk has 5 fingers. Cool. 
I still need better armor, though. Oh, there they are. So, as I was talking about Undyne... <laughs> they don't know what to do. Really? <laughs> oh my god. Sand! Oh my god! Is that... I already said that. A human? Uh... Actually, I think that's a rock. Ow. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. <coughs> hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god! Is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! Oh jeez, this is bad. Sam, I finally did it! And I will... I'm gonna... I'll be so popular! 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 <laughs> I can't keep this up. My voice is about to give way. <laughs> Human, you shall not pass this area. I, the Kraper Virus, will stop you. I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then, then, I'm not sure what happens next. <laughs> I'm laughing too much. In any case, continue only if you dare. Yeah. Well, that meant what that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. This game is adorable. Ooh, hello. There's some narration on this bo cardboard box. You observe You observe the well crafted sentry station. Who can have built this? You ponder. I bet it was that very famous Royal Guardsman. Nope, not yet a very famous Royal Guardsman. <laughs> oh god, that actually scared me. Ice Cap stutters into view. I'm going to steal? I guess compliment? You inform the Ice Cap that it has a great hat. Envious? Too bad! Oh, jeez! Okay. Uh, I guess ignore? You managed to tear your eyes away from the ice cap's hat. It looks annoyed. What, what? What are you doing? Oh, gee. Oh, that is clever. That is clever attack. Ah. Uh, right. Secretly checking if you're looking at it. its hat. Ignore again? Still not looking at the ice cap's hat. It seems defeated. Fine, I don't care. Why did I go for virus? Ah! Spare. 13 gold. Still like this music. Absolutely no moving. What? Should I even think of a voice for this one? Did something just move? Was it in my imagination? I can only see moving things. That's a very... Isn't that called blindness? Oh, God. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. Doggo blocks the way. Okay, dog. I guess pet the doggo? The doggo is too suspicious of your movements. Don't move an inch. Okay. Oh! Can't seem to find anything. Now pet it. <laughs> you pet doggo. What? I've been pet. Pat, 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 pet, pat, pot. Taco has been pet. Okay, now. <laughs> I only suspected since he was a dog that petting would work. 
<laughs> so, so, something pet me! Something that isn't moving! I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. <laughs> Hello? Is anybody there? No? Oh, uh, what the heck? Someone's been smoking dog treats! <laughs> oh man, I'm enjoying this too much! Oh, hey, Sans. Hey, here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs. Thank you. Whoa! I'm slippy sliding. <coughs> North ice, south ice, west ice, east Snowden. and ice. <laughs> I'll go up here. Oh, I remember this thing. It's the snowman. I, re I remember like people telling me about there's a snowman that you have to take something. I am a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, traveler, please take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Okay. Good luck. You got the snowman. S snowman piece. I will keep it in my inventory as long as I can. Whee! Da, da, da. You're so lazy! You were napping all night! I think that's called sleeping. That is called sleeping. Excuses, excuses. Oh ho oh, oh. ho! The human has arrived! In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles! I think you'll find this one quite shocking for you see this is the invisible electric maze or electricity maze electric would have been better i think <laughs> bias when you touch the walls of this maze this orb will administer a hearty zap sound like fun because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small i think Sans, you could have a pun. The fun that you could have would be in volts. Uh, no, that, that's a bad pun. I'm sorry. Okay, you can go on ahead now. <laughs> I just touched the wall. <laughs> Sans, what did you do? I think the human has to hold you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hold this, please. Okay, try now. <laughs> Incredible, you slippery snail. You solved it so easily. Too easily. However, next puzzle will not be so easy. It is designed by my brother, Sands. You will surely be confused. I know I am. Yeah. <laughs> hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. Sorry, Sands. <coughs> by the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? He made that a few weeks ago for a cop costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. He keeps calling it his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? Uh, I guess so. Hello there, good sir. <coughs> I don't understand why there aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. Oh, a customer! 
Hello! Would you like some ice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just buy 50 gold. I have 97. I'll buy one. Here you go. Have a super duper day. You got the ice cream. Yay, I got ice cream. Oh, uh, I think... Hold on. This is just a giant... Oh, I get it. I get it. It's supposed to be like a golf thing. Boink! Yay, golf! Green, your Connor and Care for Ball led you to a delicious victory. You are awarded one gold. Okay, I don't mind. It looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow... Codron? I don't know how to say that. <laughs> hey, Sands. I've been thinking about selling the treats, too. Want some fried snow? It's just 5G. Okay. Did I say 5G? I meant 50G. Fine. Really? How about 5,000G? What the heck, Sands? 5,000G. That's my final offer. Fine. What? You don't have the money? Hey, that's okay. I don't have any snow. <laughs> There's snow all around us. Come on. Oh, jeez. Oh. Booths. His. Hers. Smell danger rating. Snow smell. Snowman. White rating. Can become yellow rating. Unsuspicious smell. Puppy. Blue rating. Smell of rolling around. Weird smell. Humans. Greed rating. Destroy all at all cost. Okay, something about humans being down here is definitely a no-no. Ah, wow. Whoa, it's a hole. Oh, I, I see what you did there. I'm going to do this again. Eek. Biggity boink. 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 <laughs> I just enjoy playing like ah jeez. I enjoy like golf some golf games. Oh god. Okay, this is getting frustrating a little bit. Ah. How am I not how's it going where I want it to go? Go down. And there. Ah. <laughs> god. God dang it. Okay. There we go. What, what? Why is it not going where I want it to go? Ah! Gosh diggity dang it! Okay, okay, okay. There we go. I got it. I got it. A purple flag. Purple, even when you felt trapped, you took notes and achieved the end of all. You are awarded two gold. Okay, something about that golf hole, golf ball hole is very odd. <laughs> Sorry? Human! I hope you're ready for... Sands! Where's the puzzle? It's right there, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. Hey kids, can you help me solve this puzzle? Uh... Can I actually do this? Uh... I'll just walk around it. <laughs> Sans! That didn't do anything! Whoops! I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that! In my opinion... Junior Jumble is easily the hardest. What? Really? Dude, that's easy peasy world's word scramble. That's for baby bones. Ah, believable. Human, solve this dispute. Which is harder? Well, with crosswords, you can't actually know the word. Sometimes they don't even give you the word. They have to, like... You have to guess the word. 
But jumbles, they give you the word. But even those are hard. I'm gonna have to go with a crossword. You two are weird. Crosswords are easy. It's the same solution every time. I just fill all the boxes in with the letter Z. Because every time I look at a crossword, all I can do is snore. Yeah. Hey, Sans. A Pyrus finds difficulty in interesting places. Yesterday, he got stuck trying to solve the horoscope. Okay. Spaghetti. It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold, it's stuck to the table. Mad. It's a note from Papyrus. Human, please enjoy the spaghetti. Little do you know, the spaghetti is tra a trap designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize that you are progressing. Oh god. <coughs> Thoroughly japed again by the great Papyrus. Yeah, Papyrus. I can't even lift it off the table. It's an unplugged microwave. All the settings are on. Say spaghetti. <coughs> Sorry, guys, I'm very coffee. Coughing. Yeah. Ah, little mousey mouse. Knowing the mouse might one day find a way to heat up the spaghetti fills you with determination. Save. Okay, guys, I guess that's a good place to end it here. I, um,. I'm intrigued by this game. So far, I have been laughing almost all the way. So, um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Mouse. Okay.